Greetings, beloved co-creators. I am, uh, I am Gilles Mancillon, and I come to you today very really briefly to, to discuss the, the Chinese New Year and, um, and the new moon in Aquarius. For we, we, we started this new year. Time is an illusion, but we live through a cycle and, and energies that uh, associate us with, with time cycle. And so we are somewhat uh, still relating to time. Eventually, we will be moving into the now, and the now will have all the, no matter when the now will be, it will, it will enclose all that we need at every moment. However, uh, th there is this collective time, the collective uh, consciousness that we are associated to. So we have made soul contract to, to, to connect to this uh, collective unfoldment that is, um, that is the, the evolution of our uh, collective consciousness on planet Earth. And so uh, we have started a new year um, that is uh, um, uh, about a month ago, but um, we couldn't really start anything new because Mercury, the, the god of mind, was retrograde. And now it's moving out of retrograde and to, so that we'll be able to create this new beginning in February. And we'll also uh, leave the intensity of his conversation with Pluto uh, and, and start beginning a new beginning in communication with Uranus, which is uh, the planet of awakening. Uh, all those astrological uh, influence are a very powerful uh, conditioner in terms of, um, of the collective consciousness. Uh, to me, uh, planets are living beings, uh, multidimensional beings, and they all have uh, their own life, uh, independent life, but they're all communicating um, harmoniously with each other on a higher plane in order to guide the collective. Uh, of course, it is always very um, personal because uh, we, we are all affected by those planets on an unconscious level, yet there are uh, thousands of small planets that uh, uh, will um, bring about the energy at any certain point that will condition what happens to us personally. So this is just very general, some aspect, and there are countless other aspects that I cannot speak about that will um, come into play. I've just chosen a few aspects to discuss here. And so th this communication with Mercury and, and, uh, and Uranus will bring about a potential revelation, uh, very powerful energies that will be um, revealed within your mind for that the, the highest disclosure that can happen is, uh, is the disclosure of your own divinity within yourself. Uh, also, Jupiter will, uh, on the 9th of February, will be, uh, will be in, a, in a trine position with, um, with Venus, the planet of love. And, and, and so, uh, when you associate love and, and, um, and luck and expansion, there's a great potential for new projects, new relationships, new partnerships, new romantic love as well. Those two planets were in conjunction in my own birth chart when I was born in, in Aries, in my second house. So. Um, so the, this, the new moon, that uh, the full moon in Leo uh, that we just passed through, uh, brought a lot of uh, understanding of, uh, of self-love, individual love, and this new moon in, um, in, in uh, Aquarius is about bringing this love into a collective, uh, collective um, uh, understanding, uh, relationship to the feeling of, uh, of Aquarius is, is the new age, the age of um, the, the age of, uh, of angel, of self-liberation for the age of Pisces that we, we've been through for the past 2,000 years was an age of uh, glam glamour and pageantry of looking for external saviour but now uh, we're no longer in there, we are about discovering this inner uh, ability to to liberate ourselves, and so uh, so this new moon will also be um, be uh, trining both Saturn and Uranus, so the past and the future. So so it is very powerful, powerful time where where those uh, Saturn is the great teacher and uh, which is uh, uh, the holder of form uh, and the higher uh, pass of uh, of. of uh, uh, of uh, responsibility in relationship to our soul pass, soul uh, in, in relation to, to this incarnation, and Uranus is the awakener. So, so there is a great, um, great powerful communication that will happen on this new, uh, this new moon, and we were also on a leap year, so it will be a, a very powerful time for new beginning. Um, this will somewhat be challenged, uh, somewhat with um, by Mars. But Mars will, in, in Scorpio will be uh, um, will be training uh, Chiron, which is uh, the powerful healer. Chiron is the most powerful influence in my life. It is a planet I'm always connected to. Uh, it is a very deep, powerful spiritual energy, and so it is. Uh, it will put us in, in relationship to love or fear. Uh, do we want to hide in fear or do we want to move into love? Uh, is our love uh, about to, to fulfill the, 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 what others expect of us, or is it, is it truth coming from within us? 
and so so they will the those question will be uh, will be brought forward in order for us to address and and to move uh, into something completely new it will be a true beginning of a new year and so to be able to to also bring all those extreme into uh, in into harmony in order to achieve emotional neutrality uh, that which is known as serenity so keep an intention for inner peace for world peace and because we are here to to bring this world peace to to this this uh, to create a new age uh, personally i've been through 80 days of cleansing now and so it's freeing up a lot of energy that we'll be using for for fun and play uh, i've been very serious in the past uh, few years I will still remain serious but I, I think I will be able to dedicate a lot more energy to, to, to my uh, to personal enjoyment and higher form of service uh, there is a paradox that needs to be understood is the more discipline we have the more freedom we get uh, for I've never been so good at discipline but I'm getting there and so I'm, I'm realizing that, that by achieving more discipline I'm also um, freeing a lot of energy and there is a, an ascended master that's been um, always uh, teaching on this, his, his name is Serapis Bay, uh, his, his works on the first on the root chakra, is the, he, he holds the, the diamond light frequency and you can call on him to assist you in, in this process. And so on the 8th we are going to be moving into the Chinese New Year, it is the, the year 4713, so, so it is um, a billion people will be celebrating this new year. Uh, for time is an illusion, but we are conditioned to believe in time, and so we, our psychology is, is determined, our life is determined by our belief and, and, our, and, our, uh, and our desires. So this year it will be uh, the year of the, it is a lunar uh, cycle. Uh, it is the, the year of the monkey, the red monkey, the fire monkey. So it will be, the monkeys are very individualistic, so they work really well together. It is, uh, it's going to be a year for developing independence and self-empowerment, letting go of all codependencies, uh, relationship in order to move into something completely new. It's a good year to start new projects, uh, creating new flow, new momentum, and the, there will be new activation of active intelligence. Uh, it will be a year for, for discovering new level of passion, of courage, of creativity, for that is the fire. And personally, I'm a dragon, a sun and dragon, um, and so dragons really love monkeys, and monkeys love dragons. We, we amuse ourselves really well. Dragons get along with every other sign, but but monkeys are very. Um, are, are, we find them a lot of fun, and uh, we, we we enjoy them. Everybody enjoys monkeys, anyways. That they're very um, so so. It, and let us not forget that the, the the wisdom of the monkeys comes from uh, being able to speak no evil, not say anything bad about anything, about anyone, not to see anything evil, not to, 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 to look at uh, always the glass halfway full, instead of looking at the deficiencies and the, and the problems, and not to hearing any evil, uh, the, so that uh, we, we may just uh, protect ourselves against all the negativity that may be part of the illusion, the fear, the separation that, that uh, is no longer valid and uh, no longer needed in our life. Or when we move into love and unity, we are able to move into a new flow. And so this year will be, will be the beginning of something really new. And I hope you really enjoy it. You pass, um, you pass this new year with... Um, in a, in a celebration, uh, this new celebration and, and this great expansion that will be opening up and, and, and then, uh, then there will be a powerful eclipse in March that will uh, open to something completely new. I wish you a wonderful day, I hope you, you find this message interesting and I wish you a, a, a wonderful new year and I'll talk to you later. Namaste. <laughs>